Big Daddy here with a look at Antergos. Antergos? Anterg OS? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you say it. But it is the Antergos Cinnamon Edition. So this is what it looks like out of the box. The only thing I did was install Simple Screen Recorder. And for the install, they add, Antergos actually adds to the Arch install a section where you can do checkboxes to enable the AUR repositories to um, uh, install certain software like Firefox and Steam. So I did check a few of those so I didn't have to actually install them right away. Um, but other than that, this is the stock uh, software that comes with it. So it's not a um, over bloated <laughs> it's an arch distribution so it's not going to be bloated with all kinds of stuff although they did add uh, pigeon and transmission and a little bit of, a few other things but for the most part it's pretty lean um, I installed I checked to make sure that uh, Steam was installed and Firefox and whatnot so this is the cinnamon edition and I used to run cinnamon and used to love cinnamon actually and until I started back on KDE and just love the plasma edition and I actually just started using mate and that has grown so much that it has actually overtaken cinnamon's place in my listing of favorite desktop environments so coming back to cinnamon um, there are a lot of things I like and don't like so and that has nothing to do with Antergos that's just the cinnamon edition so I won't go into big details about the cinnamon part of it because that would take away from the, the work that the Antergos guys are doing so uh, it does not have a great menu I don't like, care for the menu but I guess if you want a different menu you want to go with a different desktop environment so uh, there are lots of issues with the applets that don't work that haven't been updated in a few years so there are very few applets that actually work uh, and work well one of the th applets that does, that does work well is the drawer that I'm using right now I did add that so basically when you hit the right click on the panel and hit edit mode anything that you put on the left side of the drawer will be hidden until you show it everything on the right side will be shown always and that's how it works now you can set this to click or just hover but I like a clean desktop so I if I'm on cinnamon that's one of the applets that I must have and thankfully it still works um, the other thing I like about the cinnamon desktop is the volume controls so I always I have two different headsets speakers mic so I'm constantly switching output devices and Cinnamon is one of the few desktops that you can actually switch on the fly and it switches instantly and um, you have a shortcut right in the if you right click on the sound output device and if I click this I'm not going to click it because of the video part of it but if I click this it automatically switches to that output device which is nice and the same way with the input device so that I do love about Cinnamon, that I wish KDE would do, or Mate would do. I wish they would put that type of shortcut in there so that we could have that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I haven't had uh, one crash yet, so that's a good thing. Uh, I did notice that the system settings is not in the favorites, and I'm not sure why. I mean, you would think that that would be, like, I mean, that's a minor detail, but still you would think that would be in the favorites so I didn't uh, theme this at all yet but I will be theming it and you know cinnamon has a lot of different settings to customize and you know for effects without having to go through you know like open up comp editor or anything like that so it has some it has the settings built in and you can switch these or you can customize individual settings so it, there's definitely customizability on uh, cinnamon and it was it used to be have a lot it used to have a lot more settings than mate although mate has come a long way so it's uh, 
not as it's not beaten mate anymore let's put it that way so you have your general uh settings and i have um like i said in a enabled the aur so you have right here you have paymac which is running and if you right click you can either hit the update manager which is going to say there's no updates um actually there is an update look at that that's why i love real time big daddy videos because i'm always proven wrong <laughs> anyway um so if you right click you have the package manager and you can pretty much type in anything you want and it has it the one program that i wish that arch had that do it does not have is the private internet access GUI program and that's basically I guess an Ubuntu type program but I really wish somebody would make that for and add it to the AUR I mean yeah you can you know do the manual VPN but that would be like a keeper to have the GUI and maybe that goes against the arch way of because, you know, a lot of Arch people are, we do everything manual. But, you know what? If it makes things easier, like, isn't that what Antergos is doing in general? All of the, you know, other Arch distributions like this, they're, you know, it's Arch and it's the latest stuff. And it uses that same scenario, but it makes it a little bit easier. So that's why I think that somebody should make the private internet access available for the AUR. I'm not a technical guru, so I can't. I don't know how to do that. And I'm not going to spend like 3,468 hours trying to figure out how to do that. So, so I guess I should stop. I would say, somebody would say, well, then stop complaining about it. So there you go. I'm going to stop complaining about it. <laughs> um, so there you have my first thoughts and initial uh, impressions of Antergos. It seems like they're trying to make it make Arch easier, and they have succeeded in doing that. Because, to be honest with you, besides that little initial screen where you see where you're enabled to checkbox the AUR and then certain programs, it almost felt like you were installing a regular distribution, and it, you didn't even know it was Arch, which is a feat in itself. So hats off to the Antergos guys, and I think I'm going to theme this out a little bit and maybe do a follow-up video on it. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So until next time, Big Daddy out.